my story is just one of tens of thousands who have graduated from Fort Osage High School. Have you ever wondered who else graduated before you, with you, after you? What have been their accomplishments? How have they, how has Fort Osage High School impacted their careers? And are, are people who are now towards the end of their career looking back and wondering and wanting to remember the things about Fort Osage because they realize the impact that this, this education process and socialization process had on their life. That's what the Fort Osage Virtual Museum is attempting to do. It's, it's gathering historical information and putting it together in a format that, that chronicles the historical aspects of how the district was formed, who was involved with it, what were the accomplishments of the high school through the years, how did it develop and become the district that it is today. And when you, any time that you gather historical information, it also points you to what you can expect in the future. Um, how that, that impact will continue to move forward and, and influence those generations that are yet to come. So therefore, we would like you to take a moment and consider what you can do to help this process, this historical collection process that's going on and, um, and, and help chronicle the whole, uh, a holistic viewpoint of what Fort Osage High School has meant to people through the years past, present, and future. Every story has a beginning, and every beginning has a context. The Fort Osage School District was formed as a result of several events occurring. The Fort Osage Virtue Museum is the product of an effort to capture the historical context out of which the Fort Osage Reorganized School District No. 1 originated. Once we began compiling the information surrounded its formation, it became clear that this project would grow into an ongoing historical record. By converting this information to a digital format, it is now able to be accessed by anyone with a browser and an internet connection. But we need your help to make this a complete history. In this presentation, we're going to cover several aspects of the ongoing effort to complete the historical record. First, we are going to delve into a more complete understanding of the purpose of the museum. Next, we will cover the items that we already have collected and digitized so that you have an idea of what information is important. And third, we will discuss historical information that is missing and the type of information that will be important for us to collect. Fourth, we will go into detail on how individuals can help because there are many different facets involved in the collection and preservation process. Finally, we are looking for your suggestion on what further information you would like to see included in the Fort Osage Virtual Museum. For most of the alumni of the Fort Osage School District, their experience of the Fort Osage High School is encapsulated in the four-year time frame that they attended from freshman to senior years. The vast majority of the alumni have no experience with the high school building illustrated in the bottom right-hand corner when the high school was first built in 1955. Most are not familiar with the structure in the upper right-hand corner, which is the latest iteration of the high school entrance into the Performing Arts Center and Administration Office. But these are aspects that all Fort Osage alumni have in common, including the mascot and the school song. The purpose of the museum is to develop a digital resource of information, and this information includes a collection of annual records, events, 
recognition of students, staff, and administrators. This done with the express purpose to preserve district history for future generations. It also includes state and national news, often found in newspaper articles. It also includes a body of genealogical information, buildings, archived artifacts, documents, and oral history. All of this is provided on a digital platform for easy storage and interactive use. So, here is a list of some of the things that we do have. We have most of the information surrounding how the district began. We have the district newsletters that gives us details of projects and staffing throughout the district. We have copies of the smoke signals, which are the Fort Osage High School student body newspaper published by the journalism department. We have the yearbooks, which provide a lot of detail concerning administration, faculty, student body, and extracurricular activities. We have records of sports championships. We have records of building anniversaries. We have records of building projects, and we have records of the bonds and levies that provided funding to expand the education program throughout the district. Here, in this slide, is an example of the information we've collected on how Fort Osage Reorganized School District No. 1 began. We have photographs of nearly all the original 16 buildings that were the local schools that all formed the new Fort Osage district. Many of them were one-room schools. We have class photographs, yearbooks, graduation programs, and many more memorabilia from those individual schools. We have copies of the Fort Osage School District newsletter, which documents the outstanding achievements of administrators, faculty, and students. These also provide important information concerning building projects, progress, completion, and dedication. The Fort Osage High School smoke signal captures the perspective of the student body through the guidance of the journalism faculty. This also provides us with details of how the programs and curriculum influenced and impacted the development of talents within the student body. It also captured important cultural and societal events with commentary from faculty and students. The yearbooks capture the entirety of the school year for each class. It is a time capsule that allows someone to research who were contemporaries when an instructor began their tenure and when it ended. It captures the cultural influences in clothing and vernacular. These are valuable assets for anyone during doing research on historical period information. The hallways of the high school are plastered with sports team accomplishments. In these trophies, plaques, and record boards, we have recorded a long history of accomplishments. Digitized images of these provide ready access information to anyone who is curious of their if their record still stands. By having a solid record of when building projects were completed and buildings dedicated, we are then able to determine when important anniversaries should be recognized, such as 50-year celebrations for buildings and so on. By tracking the expansion of the district through photographs and dedication programs, we are able to provide a history of the Fort Osage School District that engenders respect for what has been accomplished and a personal pride for being a part of this important cultural entity. The Fort Osage Virtual Museum project of collecting information has led us to the special projects done by the Student Council called Memory Boxes. These projects are the collection of a graduating class who developed slideshows and other special memorabilia for that particular graduating class. These are important historical documents. This effort has also led to special projects with the senior high and the district. Here are some of the things for which we are looking. Donated yearbooks from Buckner's Halls Memorial, 1943, 44, 1951, and 1953. 
Fort Osage High School yearbooks 1959, 1960, 1961, 1962, or anything after that. Levesey High School, anything other than 1946. We are also looking for additional district newsletters. Let us know what you have and we will tell you if it is needed. Some things may be a work in progress. Also, we're looking for pictures of buildings from earlier years, like the 1950s and 60s, maybe into the 1970s. We are looking for both audio and video interviews of anything to do with the school district. Here is how you can help. We need data entry volunteers. We need storytellers, speakers, designers, researchers, money for projects, scanners, and we need to develop a curator assistance program. Finally, we would like to know what you would like to see added to the virtual museum or how our virtual, virtual museum can be improved. If you are interested in being a volunteer, we need you to fill in your name and the best way to contact you, which is either a phone number, email, mailing address, or text. Then please offer suggestions on what you'd like to see on the Fort Sage Virtual Museum website. Here is the information on how you can contact us. Men in white,